Hey, um, I'm back, and um, I figured I'd tell you guys about my uh, my uh, tribulation dreams. And yes, I, it's dreams. It's multiple dreams that I've had over a very long period of time. And um, before I started studying my Bible, I didn't realize that these these visions, these these um, dreams, the things that I were told. Um, were from the tribulation until I got further into the Bible and it just all came back to me but the crazy thing is is that even years ago I, I wrote all this down I kept a, a dream journal and it was the best way I can say is it was bleak uh, it's it's a lot of things and you know it was confusing but it now it's blatantly obvious that what I was seeing was a uh, was the tribulation, uh, post rapture, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm thankful that I wrote those things down over the years, so I was able to take some of what I've written down. There's so much that I I, I kind of cherry picked some of the things here to share with you guys. And uh, yes, I do have paperwork to kind of let you guys know because I, I literally sat this, sat down and typed this up so that I could share this with you because um, I, I feel that it's important um, so first uh, I'll go over and I'll, I'll be jumping from dreams it's like it may seem a little you know out of order unorganized but like I say these are multiple dreams so, uh, one thing, in one of the dreams that I had, I noticed that all of a sudden, out of nowhere, like, just panic set in. And my assumption now is this is, like, immediately post-rapture. And, um, everyone was running around. No one knew where to go. It was just, like, pandemonium and, uh, just panic. It was, it was horrible. Um, people were packing stuff. They would drive not knowing where they were going to go. Um, it was just, it was horrible. Um, there were some that stayed behind. And immediately what they found themselves to be that they were prisoners in their towns. And those that tried to go elsewhere found the same thing wherever they were going. The martial law was extremely strict. And even in the midst of all of that, People were still trying to hang on to their money, their possessions, and anything that they could find that they feel would, you know, give them either a, a fighting chance or something. Oh, sorry, somebody's walking up. Um, a fighting chance or whatever they figured would help them out. Um, but pretty soon they, they found out that it was, it was pointless. Um, let's see... Um, another dream that I had was during the midst of all that. Now, most of these dreams were first person view and I knew that I was seeing it from someone else's eyes because in one of the visions, I was a white guy. So I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, I'm a little light skinned, but definitely not white. But, um, so in this dream, um, I'm a guy, I have a family, I have a wife don't have any of that right now so I definitely knew this was something else and post rapture and we just start to see like smoke and ash and embers falling from the sky and they started getting bigger and bigger and I'm getting burnt it's it's horrible and the most thing the most that we could do was to jump into the truck and try to get away and it, it was it was it was pointless because the boulder started to get bigger and bigger. Everything was on fire. Everywhere you look, uh, you could swear that there was a, a volcano right where you were at the base of a volcano because it was horrible. And it got to the point to where they were just tearing up everything. And that's where that dream ended. Um, another dream that I had, and during these dreams, like there was someone there with me in the dream. There was someone you know, giving me information, specific information as to what was going on, like I was being told things, you know, and as those dreams, as I talk about those dreams, I'll, I'll speak about, you know, some of the things that I was told, 
but um and this dream it was a third person view and i was watching but i was i was allowed to feel their emotions and what i did notice is and i'll read this to you it, this is how i wrote it that said there will be a time when anger and violence will just be as infectious as a cold people who have anger people who have no anger towards each other will be infected by the words of those in powers so much so that it will take over them like a demonic possession or trance causing anger and violence to spread like wildfire Families will turn on one another with anger they've never known, seemingly from nowhere. Brothers against brothers, against sisters, against fathers, against mothers, against neighbors. This violence will lead to many deaths among the world. Anyone that hears the words of the ones in control and follows them will be affected and unable to resist the evil. And what I felt during that was like this, this just raw hate and anger to the point to where it's like, the only thing on my mind was to hurt and kill. So, and it, it just, it washed over us. And I, I specifically remember them watching something on TV or hearing something, someone speaking. And as that was being spoken, they, they just got angry and they turned on each other. Like people in the homes turned on each other. And they were to the point of fighting and trying to kill each other. So, I don't know whatever however you want to see it whether it's a, a trance demonic possessions whatever but that's what was going on and they were uh just this was spreading across the entire world um one thing i was watching uh, another dream i had where i was um watching massive earthquakes and it was horrible to where i i seen like the earth splitting open and I, I had an aerial view of the earth and I could just see this long line and the ground just spread open. It was it was huge. And um, I, I seen people, homes, everything just falling into this, this abyss is what I would call it. And um, as I was watching this, this is this is what I was told. This is what I heard. Um, someone told me the earth will destroy what lies on it. Homes will slide by many feet while crumbling to the ground. The earth will open an abyss so wide, so deep that you can't see the bottom. The abyss will devour homes and people never to be seen again. That's what I heard while I was looking at this. So, and this is something that I, this dream, this vision, this, this things I were told is from years ago. And like I said, I was not, I, I didn't know what it was. So I just thought it was a horrible dream. I'm sitting there thinking California, you know, like everybody else thinks whenever you hear massive earthquake, you say, oh, it's California. But this apparently is going to be all over the place. This isn't isolated to any one area. Um, let's see here. Um, I was also told, and this is this was audible, you know, while I was having a vision. It said there will be three winters of snow with no summers in between. Wars will follow, then earthquakes and tidal waves. The sky will split open and lay in death and destruction. Most will die. Earth will suffer. That's a quote. Um, that's what I was told. So it's uh, it's just what it is. And I'm, I'm letting you guys know. But um, I, the thing that I seen was I from that point, I went to a first person vision and we're like standing in this group, you know, listen to someone speak. And the, the, the emotion, the consensus were, was that, you know, we didn't believe what was being told to us, you know, and they were trying to calm us down. It's like they were trying to sell us on why things were happening the way they were happening. A lot of people were like, no, that's, that's not what's going on. And they didn't believe it. And so it seemed more like a show and people were afraid to speak out they were very afraid like nowadays if 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 someone's in front of you saying something you're gonna speak out you're gonna talk and you're gonna you know say what's on your mind and you know out the person but in that case everyone was afraid no one was challenging this person but everyone knew that it was it was bs and everyone felt trapped and was afraid that this was going to be the way of life from now on. And with this being a post-rapture situation, yeah, that, that's pretty much what it was going to be. 
Um, I also seen military uh, men, but they were in gray. They were in gray uniforms. I can't remember any of their faces, but they were extremely violent. They were killing indiscriminately. Um, anyone, anyone they seen, nobody was being spared. It was horrible. I seen, um, what was it? Uh, let's see. I seen masses of people being forced into slave labor, working on railroads with uh, guards surrounding them. Um, a lot of plainclothes soldiers and snitches everywhere. Uh, people were hiding in their homes, quiet, being surveilled constantly by these these roving vehicles. I don't know if they were manned or unmanned, but um, they had like antennas on them, and they were like neutral, like this neutral dark, dark to mid gray color, which were the same color as the uniforms of these soldiers whose faces I never seen. I couldn't see. And I don't know, and I didn't not see their faces because they were wearing a mask, but I didn't see their faces because I like I just wasn't allowed to see their faces. I don't know. I've I've heard speculation from other people telling their dreams about what they've seen to uh, non-human entities in these uniforms attacking people. So it's probably why I didn't see their faces. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Um, the last thing. Now, all these dreams I had, I didn't ask for these dreams. You know, I was having them. And uh, one day I finally prayed and asked, you know, to be showed shown what would it be like for those that were left behind that's the one time I asked for a dream and during that dream it was complete chaos running a lot of running I was in first person I was winded I knew I was very tired very when I could barely breathe and running um, I in that dream was shot over and over attacked mutilated uh i specifically remember being shot in the neck in the shoulder and the chest and even after i was shot they were still coming after me to attack me and you would wonder why someone would continue to attack someone that they've shot dead but one thing that i instantly noticed was after i was shot I wasn't dying and not to this, not in the sense of like, you know, I was still alive and dying, but no, I was not dead. I was trapped in my body. My, my soul was not leaving. I was mortally wounded and should have in any other case, what we believe we should have ex I should have exited the body, but no, that wasn't allowed to happen. I was trapped in my body. And everything was dark, but I, my senses, my other senses were still there. I could hear, I could, I, I knew what was going on around me. I could still feel my body, but I was just, my soul was trapped in my body. So, you know, that was, that was a big shocker for me, but it, it, it does state that men will seek death and will not find it. And that's, that's, I believe that's in Revelation. And... I could only imagine that there will be no easy way out of this. You will not be able to escape God's wrath by just, you know, exiting, you know, exiting, you know, or whatever, or anything. It There's a good chance that what would allow your spirit to exit the body on any normal day won't be the same during the tribulation to where you will be trapped in that body to suffer and and suffer in unimaginable uh, unimaginable uh, pain and other things like that so um, I just want you guys to know that I'm, I'm not telling you this to, to scare you I'm, I'm telling this to you to remind you and to inform you and uh, my message to anyone hearing this is to repent, change your ways, ask Jesus for forgiveness, and follow him. Don't just change the way you live. Change your heart, your mind. Actively work 
on fighting against <clears throat> negative thoughts and emotions as they come into your mind. Um, when it comes to Judgment Day, even if your thoughts, I'm, yeah, I'm reading here, <laughs> even if your thoughts and emotions will be brought up on full display, don't seek comfort in worldly items or trust in your money um, and guns. S seek everything you need from Jesus and trust that he'll provide everything that you need. Um, I love all you guys and thank you very much. That was uh, just some of the tribulation dreams I had. Uh, it goes deeper. There's a lot more things that I've seen than I, that I was told. But um, this video is long enough. It's been 15 minutes already. So I just want you guys to know, hey, it's, it's, it's coming soon. Very soon. Um, don't think for one minute that you're going to, you, you have all the time in the world because you could be doing something crazy, something that you know you're not supposed to be doing and boom, here it is, it happens and you're caught red handed up to no good. That, that's the last thing you want. So you always want to be looking up, always on point and doing things the way they're supposed to be done. So, um, thank you guys for listening.